Welcome one and all, Yanka here, and today I am here to talk about a manga that I really, really like called Rave Master. <laughs> so I own all of bar, I think, two volumes or something, because I got a big, I had like the last three, um, and then I whoop, <laughs> went and got them on Amazon and eBay and stuff like that, where I could get hold of them, because I mean, these are the Tokyo Pop ones. Oh, this one in particular, because I really like the, the, the cover art on this one, so I just said to use it for the video. Uh, yeah, so... So, yeah, so these are the Tokyo Pop ones, and then I got the three-in-one for the ending when they were re-released not too long ago. So I'm still missing a few, because I really want to get the Tokyo Pop ones, because I really like the opening, like, artwork and stuff on them. So, yeah, um, if you don't know what Rave Master is, it was Hiro Mashima's very first work, and if you don't know who Hiro Mashima is, or you don't really didn't know he did rave. Other works he did was like Fairy Tale and Eden Zero. He's done other things, but I think they were like in collaboration with people. So these are the ones he did himself. So this was his very very first manga, very very first. Um, and it's about Haru Glory, who is a sixteen year old boy who one day fishes up Plu, <laughs> um, and he then meets with the first Fullbringer who gives him the sword and the rave, uh, which powers his sword. And he's sent on his way to go and defeat the Dark Brings and save the world from having another apocalypse level event that like happened 50 years prior to the beginning of the story. So Haru goes on his way to, to save the world and he ends up meeting up with a girl called Ellie, who has amnesia. He ends up meeting up with Musica, who is a he can bend like silver uh, but he's like a blacksmith he ends up meeting up with let and julia who are dragon race people uh or dragon race uh, so they can turn like into big dragons um Siegheart ends up being like an enemy who becomes a friend uh not to be confused with jalal <laughs> but they do look very similar but Siegheart came first um and then you've got ruby and you've got a load of other weird jelly look like there's this jelly looking character as well i can never remember his name um but yeah and they all kind of come together and then you know uh they they're out to beat sinclair who is like the mother of of all brings and like the king gale uh king gale who just we call king because it gets confusing with gale glory who is harry's dad um and yeah, as they go through the story, they defeat, you know, it's kind of like each chapter's got um, a dark bring of the week, so they've got a bad guy of the chapter who's part of the bigger demon card gang who want to, you know, basically destroy the world, really. It's, you know, it's your typical uh, shonen, really. Um, although the thing I really liked about it was that... Haru falls in love with Ellie basically almost immediately, um, is then like devout to her throughout the entirety of it, is desperate to help her regain her memories, and she's also very devout to um, to Haru in in return. Now Ellie has a gambling problem. And she's got quite a quick temper, so she's like also got these tomfer blasters, so whenever she gets angry she starts shooting at things. And like one of the things, if you ever watch the crossover between like uh, Fairy Tale and Rave, is they're talking about a big boobed demon character who's got a gambling problem, and they end up fighting because Natsu's talking um, about like a mission that he's on, and then Harry's like, oh my god, that's Ellie, I must protect Ellie, I won't let you near Ellie, kind of thing. And it's, oh, it's really good. Now, I much prefer the manga to the anime, because the anime got 51 episodes. The animation style wasn't great, and they never finish the story. They leave it off right in the middle of things, where it's just getting good, and then the anime... It just it got, it got cancelled, and then they didn't get picked up again. And then, if you read the manga... I mean, there's 35 volumes of manga of content. Um, there's a bunch of really good fights. Um, personally, my favourite fight is the very end fight. Because it's, you know, they've got the high stakes, the world is going to end, and then 
Ellie and Haru have, well, Haru makes a call that devastates Ellie, basically, and it, it's so good, and I just, oh, absolutely love that, sh that manga. Um, it's been a, I, I, I have so many mangas that I really, really like, and I'll, like, binge read them in, like, a day or two, because I'm, like, choo, 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 choo. and, but then the problem is it all blurs into one in my head, and then I have to go back and reread it again, and I'm, like, maybe that's the reason I binge read, is because then it gives me ex the excuse to go back and read it slower. Mm, maybe. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, so with this manga here, because I only bought one of the volumes with me, because I wasn't going to bring all of them out from my bookshop, that's kind of silly, like, you know, the the fighting along I'll kind of show you because his artwork has developed over the years and i will admit it has got a lot better um like the beginning of things as well usually has like cool like you know and then you've got these kind of things where he's like he really likes to draw outfits i've noticed like really loves to draw outfits <laughs> um but yeah you can i think this is the one where they're going towards defeating the king because originally it was supposed to end in nine volumes and then uh mashima was like okay it'll have nine volumes and then i'll wrap it up and i'll move on to another manga that i'm working on or i want to work on and then i think he decided against it because i mean there's 35 volumes of it so that he so it's a bit like with fairy tale really he had his original premise he completed the first part of the story that he wanted to tell and then he realised that there was still more he could do with the world. So he then went on and kept building on it and developing the characters and bringing more characters into it and so on and so forth. Building the relationships between the different characters, you know, making the stakes bigger, making the heartbreak bigger, you know. But I really do love Mashima's writing style. It's one of my favourites. He, I will have to say he is one of my favourite mangaka in terms of like storytelling. Now he does, like like with every long running manga, he does have issues where sometimes there can be a storyline that seems like the, the bad guy is just too big to beat and or the there's a couple of characters in it that are too convenient for their power set. But again, you know, I'm not gonna trash his him because i couldn't write it i couldn't make a world like that so like kudos to him for making not one not two but three epic universes that we've been reading i think there's more that he's done um as well like smaller projects he's always working you know so i'm i will never shit on a on a mangaka for like having a plot hole or for having like overpowered characters because kudos to them for being able to think of them being able to create them and being able to make these cool worlds because i couldn't do it I, I hands down i could not do it so kudos to them i mean i will point them out occasionally in videos but <laughs> it's not really to you know crap on them or anything like that it's, it's literally just okay this is something that i found a bit annoying or this is something that i struggled with but you know other people might not a lot i know a lot of people do like super overpowered characters and things like that. Now I find that Haru isn't actually that um, overpowered. So his sword has 10 forms, but he, I don't think he can use all 10 forms right off the bat. So he puts like in the, the ray, which is like this little cross thing into his sword, and then he can use different powers and there's 10 forms because it's called the 10 commandments. And we do actually see that sword again in fairy tale because as a night walker uses it when they're in Edelus. And he just, like, some of his characters are re recycled, and I know a lot of people crap on him for his art style, and like, you know, oh, you know, Rebecca from Eden Zero is just, is just Lucy, and I'm like, yeah, but if you look at it, Lucy is just Ellie, you know, it's his art style, they're completely different characters, they've got different personalities, you know, don't, don't crap on someone for having an art style that they're comfortable with and that they can draw, you know? Um, I don't know where I was at. Yeah. So yeah, he has the Ten Commandments, like I said, and then uh, actually the Rave necklace is the same necklace that Grey wears in um, in Fairy Tale. And I will admit, Musica does look a bit like Grey mixed with Gadgil, um, or maybe Musica is what inspired Grey and Gadgil. Um, so yeah, it's 
it's a good story. Um, the anime never did it justice, so avoid the anime. I would highly recommend the the manga. I really wish they'd remake the anime, actually, because, like, you know, we've had shows recently, like um, Fruits Basket, that's had a remake. We've had a couple of other shows that have had remakes or have come back from hiatus hell um, for new content. So I'm, I'm hoping maybe if enough people are like rave master we might get a proper adaptation of it and that would be really cool to see because i do i do like rave master it is it is a comfort manga for me i really like it um it's not overly complicated you can read through it and follow through and then you don't really forget anybody um the the characters are well written the backstories are well mapped out the world is really interesting so in this world there is magic, but it's not like fairy tale where everyone has magic. So you have the five full brings or the holy brings or the rave that have different powers. So I think that's the thing um, with his sword is he gets more things the more raves he collects. Something like that. Uh, I can't remember how the sword works fully. It's been a while. I wasn't always paying attention to the sword. I was more intrigued by like the, the characters and stuff. Um, Ellie has, I think Ellie's one of the rare ones that actually has magic within her, which is the Ethereon that everyone's after. But whenever she uses it, she loses her memories. Hence why she can't remember who she was before. Um, like Musica's rare as well because he has the ability to like mold silver or metal and stuff like that. Um, and he's seen as being rare because other than that, most of the ones who have magic seem to be ones who have dark brings. Now that's not saying that people don't naturally have magic, it's just much rarer in their world to have magic and it's mainly gifted to you through having like a dark bring. Um, and then you've also got like the dragon race who are like people who can become dragons and dragons who can become people and, but they're more of like um, a fighting type race of people they don't really seem to use magic as much as they do like kickboxing or boxing and fight hand-to-hand -hand combat seems to be their specialty so i mean i know seacart's a magician but i can't remember if that's because he's a dark bring or not again it, like i said i read it a while ago and i binge read it and it's kind of all wobbly wobbly timey wimey in my head <laughs> Um, and no offence, but I'm not going to reread 35 volumes just to do a video. <laughs> I probably should. Uh, tell me if I should or shouldn't in the comments down below. Um, but no, I highly recommend Rave. It's fun. It's intriguing. There's romance. There's friendships. There's family relationships. There's backstabbing i think there's some back yeah there's, i think there's a bit of backstabbing there's a lot of drama it's your typical shonen um it's fun you don't have to think too heavily about it and at the end of the day you you walk away feeling really like warm and fuzzy inside when you finish it so yeah i definitely would recommend rave to pretty much anybody to be fair um like i said 35 volumes it's about 200 odd chapters yeah, I think it's about 200 odd chapters. You know, you can read a volume a day, take you 35 days to get through it. <laughs> or, you know, or not. It's up to you. Uh, but no, let me know in the comment section down below if you like Rave, who your favourite character is and why. Ellie happens to be mine. Um, and I really like her Tom for Blasters, basically. Her Tom for Blasters are my, are my favourite things about her. They're really cool. Um, but no, other than that, my kittens, I am going to give you much love and I will remind you again to eat something, drink something, and no forgetting any medication if you're on them. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!